Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins we're hunting through. We'll be looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally looking to complete the book. There's a link in the description to the books I use. It's an affiliate link with Amazon, so I do get a bit of commission if you make a purchase. We need three Commonwealth games. We need Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland to finish page one. That's really all we need. There are a couple of spaces at the end of the book. Uh, for some of the other circulating Britannia years, but uh, they've not turned up in circulation yet, or at least I haven't seen anyone finding them yet, but uh, would make for exciting finds the first uh, of them to turn up in one of these videos. But let's get into the bag and see what we get. Okay then, into bag number one. So that is Technologies, that's the definitive design on £2 coins, the standard non-commemorative design used for many, many years, all the way up to 2015. Um, some, some of the years on those uh, technologies are lower minted than other years, just not low enough that I think it adds enough value that makes them worth keeping. Uh, but ideally, if we can get some commemoratives, like this one here, and that's Brunel's portrait. Very common coin though, you'll have no problem finding him or the counterpart. Um, Oh, someone's written an S on that. Bizarre. Uh, there, the counterpart to Bruno's portrait is Bruno's achievements, the arches at Paddington Station. Again, both of those are quite common coins. You shouldn't have much of an issue finding one of those. But if we can find uh, some of those a little bit more exciting, that would be ideal. So we can see that is Jodie Clark's fifth and final portrait of the Queen. We know this will be something because of the portrait. It is Shakespeare's Histories, one of three Shakespeare £2 coins in circulation. This is the more common of the three, but check the edge inscription of the Hollow Crown. So that is as it should appear. Uh, 2016 seems to have been a bad year for the Royal Mint and their edge inscriptions on £2 coins because the an edge inscription on £2 coin. Oh, wow! Navy Centenary, very nice. So this one doesn't have the flag error. Gee, those two sticky outy bits are perfectly. Uh, crisp, but there's no extra lumps of metal that shouldn't be there, but we will check the portrait. It's Jodie Clark's fifth portrait, as it should be in circulation. In 2015, when this coin was minted, we changed portraits of the Queen on coins. Uh, so the ones in the annual set have Ian Rank Broadley's fourth portrait of the Queen. Um, so uh, it's a non-circulating version of the coin that could turn up if someone spent one. Right, Charles Dickens there. That's uh, another very common coin. I was talking about something and then I got interrupted. Oh yeah, 2016 was bad, bad year for the Royal Mint, um, putting the wrong edge inscriptions on £2 coins because um, you can see there is wording around the edge of the coins. It's unique to the design. So if it says standing on the shoulders of giants, we know that'll be the definitive technologies, which I think all of these ones are. Yep, so no commemoratives amongst them. We'll try again, see if we can find a more exciting coin. We've got shoulders, shoulders, standing, shoulders, Britain. No way, Sure Shield of Britain will be another Navy Centenary. I think it is my favourite circulating two pound coin. Um, it's a bit of schmutz on this one, unfortunately. Oh, it's blue tack or something. Well, there we go. Uh, very, very nice to find. Prices I put up of the coins are based on what they've recently been selling for on eBay, not listed. Uh, you can't trust listed prices because you can list whatever you want for whatever price you want on eBay. It doesn't mean that is what it's worth. That seems to be all we're going to get from that bag. Not a bad result. Already two Navy Centenaries in and we've still got a whole heap of coins to get through. Um, which is quite exciting. Look, we've recently had the Royal Mint releasing the um, Star Wars Bullion Bars. Which are kind of cool. I must admit, I haven't bought any myself. I am not a massive um, bullion collector. And if I was to buy bullion, I would definitely buy bullion coins over bars, being a coin collector. Uh, they do look quite cool though, I must admit. I, am, I think they are quite neat. So if I had to buy a bullion bar, <laughs> why not buy a Star Wars one? If the markup isn't too much over that, if it's just a standard bullion bar of silver or whatever. There's Shakespeare's uh, Tragedies. This is the second uh, Shakespeare coin that we found today. Not the rarest, not the most common, but you can see this line here. This should go all the way around the design, but you can see it's obviously the line is a bit far to the right, so there's no line on this side of the coin. 
Um, that's very common to see on staircasing coins. They're just they're minted so fast at such volumes that these slight anomalies will get through. But that is, although it's technically an error, I guess, because it's not how the mint intended the coin to be, it doesn't add value to the coin. Right, edge inscription, which could be a real exciting error. What a piece of work is a man, so unfortunately that is how it should appear in circulation. I have found one Shakespeare tragedies with an edge inscription error in the past, which is a very cool coin to find. But I have not found one since. It would be lovely to find one. Now, Lord Kitchener. Again, very exciting error to be found on this coin. On the obverse, the head side of the coin, at the bottom just there, it should say two pounds. You can see it does on that one. If you find a Lord Kitchener that doesn't say two pounds at the bottom on the obverse, that is a mule error, whereby one of the dies has been used incorrectly. The die for the reverse for one coin and the die for the obverse of another coin have been paired up to create the monster that is the Lord Kitchener mule error. Not a monster, it's just, it is, it is probably the rarest UK two pound coin, I would think. Because so there are some others, like uh, the Isle of Man blimp two pound coin, which is rarer, but again, not coins you'd find in circulation readily. Um, right, Bruno's portrait once again. And Bruno's arches, uh, Bruno's achievements, the arches at Paddington Station. Which of course, you will see if you go to Paddington Station in London. But no, that Lord Kitchener mule would be a very, very cool coin to find. We've had some luck with £2 coins in the past, finding exciting errors or excitingly rare coins or coins that weren't put in circulation. What are you going to be? Oh, another Shakespeare tragedies. See, the, the ring around this coin is a lot better, uh, more centralised, but it's still not perfect, as you can see. There's a tiny gap on the right-hand side there. So it's not perfectly aligned, but again, it's not going to add value, is it? What a piece of work is a man, unfortunately. No edge inscription error on that one as well. Oh, what, did I search these? I can't recall. Let's just quickly, oh yeah. Just in case, if I just possibly put them off to the side and hand checked them, you can guarantee there would have been a Commonwealth Games in there. But it's been a long time since we found a Commonwealth Games two pound coin. Um, unfortunately for this book, we found two uh, uh, Commonwealth Games England's which is still quite exciting it's just I prefer to have a different one to help fill the book another Charles Dickens there again not overly exciting but it does add a bit of variety and even the most common coins you still need them to complete your, your collection your collection is not complete without a VE Day anniversary or like this one Marconi's wireless transmission which uh, although it's very common I do like the design it's a very cool coin so don't mind one of those turning up. We've then got Florence Nightingale, one of my favourite circulating designs. It's such a pretty design, isn't it? But again, not particularly rare. Let's see what we get in this pack. A whole lot of nothing. Oh dear. Case of the Diddleys, which happens from time to time. But we've got plenty of bags to go. Who knows what treasures could turn up. That's the thing, it's, it's a bit of a gamble. It's not really a gamble because uh, I've got these coins from my bank at face value. Oh, that's Brunel's portrait again. I could find something very, very exciting. I could hit the jackpot. Or I could find just some rather exciting coins. But uh, I don't lose out. Safe gambling, if you can call it that. Anyway, Jodie Clark's fifth portrait of the Queen again. It's Shakespeare's histories. We found all three of them, haven't we? Oh no, it's comedies we haven't found. Right, the Hollow Crown. We know that's got the right age inscription on it, so not, unfortunately, a really exciting error. It does make me wonder what the next big error we might find in circulation is. Because it, sometimes it takes a few years for these errors to come to light. Um, oops, Lord Kitchener there. Uh, and it says £2 on the obverse, so not the mule. I think if I found a mule you'd have to scrape me off the ceiling. But no, like with these errors at the end of the video, I will whiz through and check all the coins, the technologies and the commemoratives, just in case 
there's a, an exciting error, whether it's a rotation error, double die error, um, edge inscription error. I will have a whiz through them all to see because uh, it's cool to find one. We do find one every now and again. Not every video. There we go. Army Centenary. So allegedly there's the rotation error out and about on this one, which is not on that coin. For King and Country, it's got the right edge inscription, so sadly not from the error coins that we want to see. Actually, the error coins, they're not they're not uh, my favourite part of coins. It's not a, a part of coin collecting that I am madly passionate about, but uh, would be exciting to find, I must admit. Another army centenary with no rotation error, no edge inscription error. And then this one is, oh, that's a nice one. The Great Fire of London. It's a stunning design by Aaron West, who also did the Isaac Newton 50p, which is my favourite circulating... 50p design but no superb stuff we'll pop that just down there for safekeeping and that one is definitely a keeper it's an interesting one that uh, vintage figures were released by the royal mint and then a year or so later they got revised downwards it ended up being much rarer than they had initially announced which is a bit worrying right lord kitchener once again and again it says two pounds as it should, as it should, but uh, that's mule error. It only takes a fraction of a second, whoops, it only takes a fraction of a second to flip it over and check, and for the added value that that could create, it's definitely worth doing. Right, active union, check for the rotation error, no. So, as I said, I don't check for all of the, all, all, all these coins for rotation error, so I wouldn't normally check one of these for rotation error, but at the end of the video I will, of course. That is the VE Day Anniversary, the most common circulating commemorative £2 coin. Right, let me just move all these place sand castles for a moment. Keep them all neat off the side so that it's nice and easy just to whiz through them at the end of the video and see if we can find ourselves in exciting era oh dear well we have made it all the way to the last bag we've got some good finds though two navy centenaries a great fire of london and a few shakespeare's though um, nothing new for the book yet but we've got all these coins still to go you never know what might crop up um, in the description of this video there's also a link to my coin collecting discord server if you want to come and join that there are also links to my other social media channels uh, the PO Box address if you want to write in to me and a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel. That's the company I work for as my day job, so please do check them out too. I'm just going to whiz through all these coins now and see if there's any errors I've missed. Well, then we got very lucky today. Well, not only do we have this one, which is a 2015 Technologies with a rotation error. The Queen is looking the wrong way. We also have this one. Again, 2015. Queen is facing the wrong way so just to make sure that uh, <laughs> that isn't how it's supposed to be I'll take a random one here 2014 that is the way the Queen should be facing you can see the initials be half Bruce Russian just there and on these they are both situated in the right place so it's not a case that someone has manipulated these coins they do actually have Ooh, that one was a bit more pronounced a moment ago Hold on. there we go similar sort of rotation areas which is kind of exciting two navy centenaries a great fire of london as well that's a very good result if i say so myself but let me know in the comments what your favorite coin from today's video has been all it leaves me to do is thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for more coins bye